What's up, COD fans? Welcome back to the channel, My Hold Shift. Today, we're doing something a little bit different, taking a look at how the Atlanta Fays were able to come back and secure a win on the first hard point versus the Dallas Empire on Azir K. A lot of people have struggled with how do you exactly break into P2. Well, for me personally, I don't just look at the second hard point in the eastern part of the K, but I look at how teams go from 5 to 1 to 2 on the second rotation. That's where a lot of teams have struggles with and where a game can absolutely turn around. And for Atlanta phase that was exactly the case so let's jump in do some drawing and show you guys exactly how atlanta phase were able to beat the dallas empire on map one of zero cave and they're set at the minneapolis launch weekend now, for you guys, as we jump into this here, uh, there are a couple of things to remember. Number one, uh, we're going to be dealing with the blue, which will be represented for Dallas Empire when we draw on the map. The pink will be used for the Atlanta phase, easiest ones to kind of mimic. And as well, it's kind of difficult to see on this YouTube recording where the blue arrows are on the mini map. A little bit tough to see those arrows. So I'll do my best to kind of give you guys an idea as far as what is going on on the map in specific. Starting things off, though, again, taking a look at where Dallas Empire currently are. The score... It's an even game right now, although I will say, again, 41 seconds at 204, Dallas is about to start taking a little bit of a lead. Now, the problem here is the simple fact that they've allowed Atlanta off the rotation from P4. This initial hit didn't work out so, for that, so well for them, and they were trying to set up a mid hit when they started to spawn back in this area. So the players that spawn back by that spiral turret are going to start making their way over here. So we're going to get a little bit of a two-way pinch coming through, and eventually... You're going to see that as kills start to come in from this area, the player that's up the middle is actually going to take a route to go around the back side. And what we're eventually going to see is the Atlanta phase trying to take a three-way hit to break the spawns, again, because of what time is currently left on the clock. The problem here... Daily, he'll be in time. The problem here is the fact that they don't win the gunfights initially, and as the time starts ticking away, and you see a couple of Dallas members really doing a nice job of setting themselves up, they're starting to lose time as far as what we can actually do to contest. So you're going to get one more solid hit here from the back, and the whole idea at this point in time, as we take a look at on the minimap, again, with the time that's on the clock, only 21 seconds, yes, you want to get a bit of a spawn flip, but you have to keep in mind that if you go for this full spawn flip, you're going to lose out on the opportunity to get the early time on p2 or p1 rather pardon me because this is the area where dallas could essentially win so instead of going for a full spawn flip what's going to happen here is these players up on the side of the bridge are just going to play to neutralize the time as much as possible you're actually going to see one player will get a couple of kills and they will just stay here and not actually grab hill time while this is going on you're going to get one player who rotates deep over this way and one more that will spawn up and rotate to the middle so essentially we'll get a setup that looks something like this and while that happens you'll have one more player coming to help reinforce but one will actually fall back and get the p1 time again what they don't want is to spawn in this back corner while dallas is potentially going to flip out over this way where they can maybe win the game Atlanta knows for a fact that at this point in time with 21 seconds left, there's no way that Dallas can win right here. So what do they do? They set up a bit of a spawn trap to make sure that Dallas, for the first half of this hard point, keeps spawning in the back. And they're able to soak up a lot of free time because of that. This is a brilliant spawn trap for the Atlanta phase. You'll see Clayster's the last one who's left in the hill specifically. He'll do what he can to play out his life, but he loses all four of his teammates. Selium will get a kill. Unfortunately, he does get team -nated. And at this point in time, this is where you're going to see that spawn trap start to come into play. Where one player is here watching the back alley, another is watching the mid cut, and then there's going to be one more player who's not even going to soak time. He's just going to also play his life on the outside. Again, these 10 seconds that are left are super negligible it doesn't really make much of a difference now as atlanta will spawn up here and down here they'll continue to send one player to the back while one moves forward to help reinforce depending on where they absolutely need to have that happen so for Dallas, their goal, as they're now spawn trapping here, is how do you break through this? And you can see again on the minimap what is going on. One player did die for Atlanta inside yellow, and the player that was here to help reinforce will back up for the hill time. Meanwhile, all these little scrappy engagements that are going on inside the tunnels are perfectly fine for Atlanta. They're able to keep a lot of pressure to where they're contesting all of this initial space, and that means that Dallas has no route to get there immediately. And eventually, once this little 50-50 occurs, 
all of Dallas, they decide to hit this way because they want to try to hold the spawns for P2. They don't actually send anybody up the cave side. They're also sending a player long to make sure that there's nobody, again, pinning them up from these positions early to where they can get some time to contest. Atlanta is spawning all over the place a little bit right now. Not where you want to be spawning if you're Atlanta. But again, the time is 50 seconds on the clock. There's a lot of space to play for. Atlanta's goal here is likely not to win the game because, let's be honest, 50 seconds worth of time at 212 you're likely not going to get another 38 points off this hill it's a very 50 50 so Atlanta what they're going to try to do is put a little bit of pressure along that along this side to make sure that again there is no push happening from this way and everybody else as they spawn up will come to help reinforce the front side of the hill while one player is making this play to come back through the back this is absolutely brilliant this time to hit the OE just because the player who ends up going this way is not going to fully try to flip that would be a little bit silly they're going to come back through this way and and make sure that they can help out from this angle. So now you've got the ability to set up a little bit of a pinch where the only route that you know Dallas can be hitting from is from the front. And that's exactly what they decide to do. So Abizi is able to clear out yellow, which is absolutely brilliant. And keep your eye. This player back here, I believe, is Major Maniac. It is. He's going to be working his way across. And again, his whole goal right now is just to keep his life and make sure that the Dallas team, if you look at the minimap, does not make that play happen. And while this is all going on, uh oh. And while this is all going on, you can take a look at the minimap. The players that are spawning up from the top side are actually making a rotation down through the garage. They know that they've got the ability to stop this play from happening. This is not happening right now. The only thing that could be going on for Dallas is them to contest from here. But again, the time, you take a look at it, only 33 seconds that are left. Dallas could still win here. And Atlanta want to make sure that A, they're not pushing for the win here, and they can just set up for P2. With this hit not coming... You know that they have to be hitting from the front side, or maybe they're trying to help reinforce it from the back side of the cave. And, Dal and, and pardon me, Atlanta is actually setting themselves up in positions to make sure that nobody's coming through. They had a guy who was watching over this way. It's 1v1s on the hill, and the players that are coming off spawn are making sure that nothing else is coming through this direction. And they've got the ability to read and, again, contest this space in the middle. It's absolutely brilliant. So as we get back into it, you're going to see Illy's the player on the hill. He can technically still win the game here. And with those couple of kills, he does a pretty decent job. But watch. Dallas reads the clock. There is 26 seconds left. If they get somebody on the hill right now, they can still win the game. And this is where things fall apart for them. The player that initially killed Major Maniac this way decided he wanted to push through. And he's going to try to go for hill time while the rest of the team is, again, still funneling this direction. But again, the brilliance of this play from Atlanta was they read what was coming. They sent one player to contest hill time. Everybody else is coming this direction. So again, as the team from Dallas starts to come this way, they're going to get absolutely destroyed from this angle while someone can slip into the back to make sure they get the spawns for P2. This is a great play, and I think Major Maniac off spawn actually tosses a set nade that will kill the player in hill. A BZ right here, knowing he's spawning, is going to try to hit this to make sure that there cannot get a full win. Again, with 26 seconds left, Dallas could technically still win the game right here. Shotzi is the player to get onto the hill for Dallas. You've got Hugh who's trying to help him, but look at the short-sightedness here. Why does this keep doing this? Uh, for Dallas, where they're not watching anybody on the backside whatsoever. They were so committed to pushing through these two spaces. The only players that are back to defend against these P2 spawns are sitting at sandbags and are currently stuck right here at the white truck. So with two players that are contesting this time to try to win the game, this is where Atlanta starts to make their move and they start to flood through the backside. Now, Simp will make a pretty incredible play. So will Abizi as they work for the backside of this. But again, you can see exactly how things are going here. Simp finds that that one coming through and his teammates who have again already put in pressure to get over here and to push through over here have now started to block the spawns a touch you're going to see a full spawn for atlanta with this kill over the middle of the map they're going to spawn right here well, Dallas is kind of split spawning. They've got a couple players who will spawn in a couple of players who will spawn out because they're essentially being blocked but the squad spawn right here is what ends up helping Atlanta. But how they break off of this is great. Again, there's only five seconds left. The timing of this rotation to make this play happen was absolutely beautiful. I guess technically it was this first, this second, this third. And with that, they eventually get the kills mid-map, and now you've got pressure on three different points. Yeah, you lose your guy in the back, but you still have two, three, four players once the spawn comes up that can hit this from the front side of the map. 
There's one player towards the back. I'm and there it is. Watch the spawn come through. There's the spawn up. Well, Dallas is technically still spawning a little bit close to the hill, but Abiz is going to make a play to get up top. He's the player on your screen. He's the one right up here. He'll come through. And just like that. Oh my God, this is breaking. And just like that, Atlanta get a spawn in. And with that, then again, you've got the player who was essentially watching the back will turn his attention to the front. Everybody else will flood through. Ofcelium's now the player up top watching across the mid cut. And as soon as they put a person up this direction, this is where they start to essentially take the game over. Instead of all the five players coming this way and coming this way and trying to hold from here, the brilliance in this play for Atlanta is that they not only hit from this direction, they win a couple of key gunfights right here, but beyond that, take a look at what Simp ends up doing. You're not going to see him on a first-person perspective, but he's going to push through yellow, and the timing of this is going to be absolutely picture-perfect. You'll also see one player sit up top right this way. He's going to be able to make sure that A, nothing is coming from the middle or from the back, but more importantly, he's got a free line of crossing angles where, again, as Simp pushes through, there's only only one place that Dallas is going to be able to hit, and that's from the cave side. And with this setup that Atlanta have, it's absolutely picture perfect to watch it, and there's never really a chance for Dallas to ever touch the hill coming back in. Sullyan's the player up top. Simp gets two kills, and this is Simp, again, making the play this way. He's going to find a handful of kills, while again, you see one player is sitting up top. I believe that's Major Maniac who's sitting up that way. Simp finds one, Simp finds two, and he eventually dies. But again, that doesn't make much of a difference because you already have a player here to watch this mid cross in case anyone decides they want to exit and try to pinch so everybody else off of spawn knows that all they have to do is watch this direction because we know from sims information that the push is coming this way all they have to do now is hold on for eight more seconds an absolutely picture perfect play you're going to see a couple players get kills on long crosses priest to holding his life major maniac again is the player who's sitting right deep i believe and i think he finds one more kill on the cross as well and nobody can touch and with that atlanta phase take the victory an absolutely picture perfect play but if i have a chance to go back here one more time just to show you exactly how this all develops was again off the system of it from p4 they start to make the rotation from both directions to try to get to p5 this doesn't work out initially so as they get success here they essentially hold the line while they set up a little bit of an oe they get a play down this way they hold that and then all of a sudden you're pinching from multiple directions and with the time that was on the clock you've got a player who's defending here a player who's defending here and a player who's defending here so as p5 turns into p1 you've got the ability to rotate back to the hill and get free capture time as they get themselves set up for P1 holds, the big thing again to remember for the P2 swing was simply the fact that they were able to free Major Maniac up top. He essentially just plays his life for as long as humanly possible. The players in the hill are also defending from the front and they set up an OE from the backside once again, once they realize that, hey, we've got P1 control, we've got players that are sitting by cobble, let's rotate behind that and see if we can make a play because Major Maniac is in this area. Once Major Maniac falls, Dallas is essentially now forced to make this rotation or this rotation. And the entire time, it's being read by these players that are sitting not only by the garage, but also inside the hill themselves. We free up a player along the back. Eventually, the time gets contested with one late spawn this way. But again, we saw the push through happen. Players spawn right in the middle. They're able to hit through the OE. They're able to hit through this direction. They're able to hit through that direction. Spawns get flipped. And from there, you saw the play that came through. Instead of everybody flooding from this bottom side of the hill, they decide to split things up, send some players mid-map, Keep your defensive holds for the players that were here off the late rotation. And then they send Simp on a mini pinch where he reads all the information necessary. Major Maniac doesn't even need to get involved. You've got players on the hill that are holding from multiple directions. And that was enough for them to win the map. Absolutely incredible play from the side of the Atlanta phase. Very excited to have seen that one in real life and in person. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that small little break hit. And of course, if you liked it, make sure you not only like the video, but you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell to know when my videos do pop up. And until the next one, hope you guys all keep holding it down. Later, later. Bye-bye.